Hello everyone, my name is Nilzor and welcome to my vault. Today on Fallout New Vegas 101, we are reaching the end of the DLC with your confrontation against Ulysses. This quest is automatically given when entering Ulysses' temple and will lead you to him. First, you have the possibility to free Edie from his stasis chamber here. If you do so, it will accompany you again and will make available later on the most peaceful ending option. If you don't free it, you will face Ulysses alone, but you will benefit from a plus 10% bonus to your damage and also while using your VAT's targeting system. Now that you are all set, go in the missile room where Ulysses is waiting for you. During your talk with him, you can learn a lot about his motivation, his goals, his history with you, as I've already talked about in the video about the history of the Divide and as well as the one that is coming up about Ulysses' character analysis. Ultimately, there is two paths where this conversation can go. Either you will have to fight Ulysses, or you can convince him to side with you. If you fight him, he will have planned that a marked man will come storming the facility, making you having to face both him and them. Himself is a really tough adversary, using Stealth Boy and being helped by two medical eyebots which will heal him. To take care of them, you will need to go hack their common cancels here and here in the lower level. You will need 100 in repair to shut them down, and 100 in science to reprogram them into helping you. To have him side with you, during your talk with him, you will have to pass a speed check at 90, then 100. Continue the conversation by always choosing options having to do with keeping hope of a better future and rebuilding communities. If you had previously collected all Edie's upgrades or all Ulysses' holder types, you won't need to pass the skills checks to have him side with you. With the Edie upgrades pass, choose answers that have to do with the symbolic value of America and the possibility of bringing it back. With the holotapes pass, choose the answers dealing with symbolisms and Ulysses' point of view. Ulysses will then side with you against the Markman. Once everything has been dealt with, the last quest will be automatically given and will make you have to deal with the ICBMs that are about to launch. This is the quest to decide what to do with the imminent launch. Go to the console in the middle of the area. You will have the choice to launch the missiles at either the NCR, the Legion or both. If you have ED with you, you can ask it to overwrite the military protocol to cancel the launch, but it will kill it in the process. Make your choice and flee the facility to end the quest and the DLC. Note that if you launch the missiles, the end will fail and the apocalypse quest will be automatically given. Once back in the Mojave, you can witness either the peace in the air or the utter destruction you brought down. If you launch the missiles, you will gain a lot of infamy with the NCR or the Legion depending on the target you chose. The Boomer and Poddleganger will be very happy if you had targeted both sides. 
New King will allow you to gain access to the NCR's Long 15 or the Legion's Dry Wells depending on which you've targeted. There will be quite a few interesting loot along with tough irradiated gullified soldiers. But if you prevented the launch, the followers of the Apocalypse and the Brotherhood of Steel will appreciate it greatly. You will also have a chest containing all Ulysses gears and other nice loot in front of you. The quest will automatically complete and grant you one point to add to a special attribute. The endings will vary upon if you launch the missiles or not and to where, if ED is alive or not and if you released it from its stasis, if Ulysses is alive or not. If you launched the missiles at the Legion, you will have erased the history of the Dry Whales, wiping out everything that was left of Ulysses' former tribe, the Twisted Hairs. If you launched them at the NCR, the I-15 road between the Mojave and the New California was cut, all the outposts and caravans along it were blasted out of existence. This put an end to the old road the courier was taking and the history that was attached to it. If you launch the missiles at both factions, the destruction that you brought was so great that it literally led to the fall of both the NCR and the Legion. The West became a wasteland again, with some relics of its former glory still discovered 200 years later. If you freed ED and launched the missiles, it will continue on its journey to what is left of Navarro. It is unknown if it actually made it or not. If you freed ED and used it to prevent the launch, in its last moment it thought of its creator and his kindness. If you let ED in its stasis, after the courier left the facility, ED was quickly dismantled into scraps. In any case, ED sent to its Mojave's counterpart all the upgrades that you might have given him. If Ulysses is dead, the courier tossed the old world flag on Ulysses' body, out of anger or respect, that is up to interpretation. If Ulysses remains alive, he stayed in the Divide, becoming the warden of the place, trying to make amends for his past. After his meeting with the courier, Ulysses felt that his journey had ended. As for the courier, only one road remained, leading to the Second Battle of Hoover Dam and the fate of the Mojave. On the next video, we are going to do a character analysis of Lotsam Road's ED and Ulysses. Thank you for watching and see you later!